people are livid. <laughs> What's new? Uh, this time is because of Assassin's Creed. What's new? The popular game franchise that um, brought us classics like Assassin's Creed 1, Assassin's Creed 2, and Pirates of the Caribbean, not Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, they're, they're bringing now the heat with uh, the thing that everyone asked for until Ghost of Tsushima, which is an Assassin's Creed game based in Japan. Because it just made sense that you would have like a ninja type of type of situation and then Ghost of Tsushima came and made it like better and uh, people say oh well maybe not Ghost well Rise of the Ronin at some point is, uh, is, is, is doing some some work too on that department the point is people are livid because Assassin's Creed is um is 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 <laughs> it's just stupid. So they bring the figure Yasuke, the famous black samurai, as the as the protagonist of the game. Now, before you start to like type in the comment section this is woke die to the woke leftist agenda and all the buzzwords that uh, that that uh, they use uh, please just just shut up for a minute and let me give you my opinion uh, first first of all uh, before you start complaining that oh they're doing a black samurai because he never existed and this is just woke leftist agenda uh, i'm here to say that no you're wrong yasuke actually did in fact exist he was i uh, he was considered a samurai even though he was more of a bodyguard uh but he served someone uh but he did exist like he did exist now what is what is very funny is that a lot of people are calling this like oh well you know this is um this is very uh, uh historically accurate as opposed to having your uh historical inaccuracies with um with you know uh, everything that happened on the other games and it's like well yeah that's kind of the point you you can't have your cake and eat it too ubisoft the fact that you're saying like oh yeah we're going to put a black samurai because you want your like you know your social point score to go up that that doesn't mean that you can play the card that oh well uh, we care for um historical accuracy where you have da vinci create like freaking contraptions that made you fly and then you have like portals and stuff like people are not are not mad are are are, are not mad are not angry at the fact that we have a accurate historical figure in the game is like we know why you did it like come on ubisoft we know why you did it you don't give a flying fuck about historical accuracy you're just doing this because oh yeah social points uh and then obviously you have another protagonist i think that is a woman who's uh like a ninja or something you you know it's it's fine but the thing is that the disappointment that i see from a lot of people is the fact that yay i wanted to play a japanese person in japan like yeah Yasuke might have existed and everything. Ezio Auditori did not exist. And Connor McGregor, whatever his name is from the third game in America, he did not exist. Like, Assassin's Creed is not supposed to be, like, historically accurate with your protagonists. <laughs> or, like, historically, historically accurate in any way, shape, or form. But here you are, like, trying to defend your decision, where we know that it's not because you wanted to have just, like, a, a historically accurate game. It's just because you wanted the, the pandering points. That's it. Also, because a lot of people would be distracted at the fact that your game is insanely fucking expensive. Now, why am I talking about this? Well, it's just because it's, like, 
Japanese something related, uh, Japanese adjacent. So here I am talking about it. Also, uh, at the fact that uh, there's some Japanese people that are not necessarily happy with this. Uh, apparently, Assassin's Creed Shadows uh, in Japan is not necessarily proving to be popular. Uh, so we have this stuff being translated a bit, like a game where black people massacre Japanese people in the Shingoku period. It's a perfect example of Ubisoft. Is this what happened when political correctness is taken to the extreme? Uh, the sword is in the wrong position. <laughs> it's not good to have it open at your side. I wanted Yasuke to, to appear as an ally. Are they mock, mock, uh, mocking Japan? They should have made someone like Saiso uh, Kirakukure as an assassin. It's a bit disappointed. I wanted to play as a Japanese ninja. It's my favorite game since I started with Syndicate and I have played everything, so this is sad. I don't think there are any Japanese people uh, supervising the architecture. It's Chinese and filled with lanterns, Tory gates, and paper lanterns, so it doesn't feel like this. I think the Shogun stands out after the good examples in the drama. So the point is that a lot of defenders of, of Assassin's Creed Shadows are calling about the actual historical accuracy, bringing up a point like, yeah, Yatsuke definitely existed. Yeah, bitch, so did Leonardo da Vinci, and uh, da Vinci did not make, like, weapons for war, <laughs> you know? So let's not pretend that we actually give a fuck about historical accuracy. And let's call it for what it is. This is just another move from a corporation to get pandering points and to just, you know, subvert expectations while raising prices. I could not care a hundred percent less about the um the the protagonist in this case. But the fact that they, this is such a like selling point for them apparently is just kind of annoying. Especially when you have a clear opportunity to do something and you don't. Japanese people seem not, they, they don't seem to be happy with this decision. I'm not particularly happy with this decision either. It's not like I have played anything Assassin's Creed related after Black Flag. Because, but why would I want to like fight Zeus when I have God of War? Because for some fuck of reason, Assassin's Creed, you can now just cast powers and fight toe to toe with Iron Man or some shit. But now we have this and again before you start like pissing your pants and saying like oh this is this is this is a travesty this is this the game might be super cool the game might be everything you've asked for so that's it but let's face it too the price is not worth it. <laughs> and I think like this controversy only helps the game itself for its notoriety, like for people to notice it. Um, but I hope that a lot of people also decide not to buy it uh, because of how expensive that is. And if we know anything about Ubisoft is that they clearly want to bleed you dry. Anyways, that's that's what I have to say about this matter. Let me know what you think of this situation in the comments down below. And that's it. Bye.